Hey, this is Samuel from Senka.com and today I'm actually in my new um, studio slash scent bar that I set up, you know, the other day and it's hot, you know, I'm very excited about it, you know, you see the red background with the white, um, the white shelves, you know, amazing. Today I'm talking about something that is really even extra hot and that is the hot water David Duff um, type by the, um, you know, inspired by David Duff. You know, so I'm very excited to get into that. Um, but before that, there's been a couple of new things. It's been a while, you know, I uploaded a video. And, uh, you know, I was working on some things. You know, it's always good, you know, to go over new things. Um, you know, different projects. Also do my own background stuff. So that the stuff that I bring to you is, like, really quality and original. And, you know, like new thoughts, you know. Instead of just, you know, pumping out lot of bullshit and crap out there you know i want to make sure that i bring it to you things that um you know are original things that um are meaningful and are very very valuable and also um you know things that you know mean a lot to me too so um you know that's for the weight and for the short distance you know it's been a lot of good things that happened to me of late um in terms of you know with my business um you know i'm very excited about it i I'm very grateful also one thing is you realize that um this is a brand new camera i don't know if you could tell by the the quality but it does look different because i actually upgraded to a new camera not by myself you know during the holidays uh, this christmas holiday it's been a while actually um my friend got me this camera and i'm very very excited about it it's a panasonic it's awesome i'm still learning how to use it you know because these cameras have so many things on it um and it's like I'm getting used to it. <laughs> oh man, I remember when I started with my my phone, you know, my phone camera I used to use. I mean, I still will use it when I can, but you know, that was so simple to use. Um, but this camera, you know, it's even a little bit more advanced. But I like the fact that I could look at yourself and record the video. So it's exciting, you know. Even if you want to get it for like just your regular use, you know, by yourself, you know, you know, get it. I, I highly recommend it. You know, bring the creative side of you out. And this perfume has a lot of things about it, which I'll get into. I'm very excited to get into. But um, it actually was inspired by David Dove. You know, the David Dove was a Spanish um, company that um, you know has a branch that does perfume. You know, so actually that branch they have licensed the David Dove perfume size to Cody incorporated and this is based in new york and they take care of the the perfume and the fragrance and everything to do with that line but also they have um you know business um the other lines of business they have bells they have eyeglasses they have a whole bunch of things i didn't even know so i was trying to look into it um earlier to find out that you know david of asa itself that not mainly focus on the fragrances you know so david of actually you know david of also in 1988 they made the um the cool water you know cool water perfume you know cool water perfume and that was a main hit you know a lot of people know about it so there's been a lot of talk about it i actually got to smell it at macy i went to macy the other day and i was smelling different perfumes you know <laughs> which i barely do but it was very very it was so much fun you know it's like perfume smells so nice you know it's like wow so but I, I smelled how I, I smelled cool water, you know, and it was it was right on, you know, it was so nice, it was so fresh, so um so green, um, you know, with the mints and stuff that they play with it. Um I and I, I can't wait to get my hand on it, you know, the perfume oil type in our review. You, you know, those those of you that are very familiar with my channel, you know that I mainly um look at perfume oil types, you know. That has been inspired by um the main perfumes you know so um you know perfume behaves very differently in um, oil you know essential oils so i tend to take an interest in reviewing those perfumes also so, for, so many also for many several reasons and i talked about you know how you know the price is also very right you know in terms of how much fragrance you could fragrance you could get um when you get a perfume you type you know like something like this um if you go to scenthack.com you know which is my website 
uh, it's five dollars ninety nine cents for zero point zero three three ounce of this bottle. You know, and this bottle could last you for uh, months or two months. You know, based on how much you use it, and it's very um, cost efficient. You know, for a high quality oil or to smell very nice and get this perfume. So that's why um, Saint Hag is mainly about you know these um, these perfumes, and I have various um types of perfume um oil types you know <laughs> and that's redundant right but various different types of perfume oils you know um you know from designers all the designer types you have you could find you could find in senthack.com again the links are below you know www.senthack.com you go there and other copy i mean other uh a bottle or several bottles and um you know i'll ship it right to you um personally um you know so that's for that you know like i always go over the perfume the bottle you know briefly for you to um you know for those that is those of you that is the first time visiting my channel um you're welcome <laughs> but also we usually briefly go over the bottle and and you know the presentation so you know what it looks like um you can see below it is a brick red um and you know color as you can see so it's red brick red black and um and of course the label has the hot water david of type and scripted on it you know so the bottle is not in fancy you know and that's one of the reasons why i go over and i always say that uh because of how the simplicity of the bottle we don't have to pay a lot for the to get the the um the perfume <laughs> you know um in, in, as far as buying the bottle the perfume bottle itself again i'm not uh you know then reading the the perfumes you know it's just as cost more efficient you save more by getting the um this you know and then also the oil but very well great for your skin in terms of projection and also longevity you know it's like 100 percent more like i cannot even stress about it you know enough you know as far as how long this um perfume oils in general last on your skin regardless of the 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 fragrance in it you know so with that um you know some people also get the perfumes you know just to have the perfume um and then you could get a perfume and also get the perfume oil as well you know if that's something that you want to do um there's a perfume the cologne the edit toilet and all that you know um the other day i had a perf i had a, an epiphany you know i was saying how i was thinking about how you know fragrance is fragrance but it's just the medium in which they are uh, presented you know so we have the ed toilet you have the um the regular perfume you know in the various concentrations but the various medium in which they are presented and based on that medium their character their personality comes out the character the personality of the perfume of the fragrance inside the um the medium comes out you know so it's very very fun it's, it's very very interesting and um you know something to i'll say to experience by getting different types of um, fragrance in different mediums and experiencing it for yourself and how they react to your body and you know in your life in general you know and it's very much like because i do a lot of i do art i don't do a lot of art but i you know i wish i could i did more um but i do art i like i like art painting and drawing and stuff like that and just a quick analogy it's fragrance is like the medium so we have in the i mean everybody has done art you know usually when, when I was growing up, you know, so the medium, you have the pencil, you have the watercolor, you have the crayons, you know, but usually it's mainly, the, it's usually the same colors, but then they are expressed in different medium, and each medium has their own um, quality and their own um, personality and how they uh, present the colors within the medium, you know, so they are very unique and very different. So perfume oil types you know they are to me they are, they work for me very they work so well for me now and i highly recommend it you know so um you know enough of that so how how water you know hot water david up type you know so it's the bright red straight away you get attracted to the bright brick red you know <laughs> just like the one in my background you know like the one i'm wearing but this is a little bit more brighter you know so it's a very attractive color amongst the other reds this is 
well this is actually wine too but it's like a light wine you know so it's not like blood was it blood it might be like blood red you know but also like a hot red you know like a burning hot red and maybe that's why they call it the hot water david duff david duff you know and this is the type um so most people have had a lot of negative reviews about this perfume I um or the perfume actually you know because of they because they were kind of blown away by the cool water um uh, they did not most people did not have the same kind of feeling that they got by getting the the hot water i mean the perfume you know um but i mean i would say there are two different genres or two different um categories uh in terms of the cool water it's more fresh more of ocean more of the cool water you know and then the and the the hot water um the hot water is more of um the night hot spicy stuff you know and um i think i'll get right into the notes you know because the notes of this fragrance are supposed to be styrax and and benzoin and um i was looking to styrax and benzoin and styrax is um Styrax is the, it's a tree, you know, so it's like a tree has it has um flowers in the tree and um Styrax and they have various trees, you know. So the Styrax is actually originated from the trees. And the benzoin interestingly is benzoin is familiar, you know. If you check out the products I use, you realize that most some most products have benzoin, benzoin in it, you know. And um it happens to be that benzoin is actually gotten from the the backs of these Tyrax you know um also another prominent note in the hot water um hot water um type is the um the red basil you know red basil i don't know the difference i mean green basil i know it no it's, it's a green basil <laughs> you know but red basil i looked at it, it it was purple it looked just like the the real basil the green basil that we used to but it is purple as soon as you apply you you smell the um the basil you know to me the basil was very eminent in it it was like blasting through um the the um, the, the fragrance you know the um the perfume oil and um also the the benzoin was also in the background you know so it was maybe because i'm more used to basil you know the benzoin i think i picked up in some things um before but it wasn't something i was very familiar with um but the basil was very prominent and um also the patchouli you know now patchouli also i, I just actually ordered a, a bottle of patchouli like a natural patchouli so i get more familiar with it because this has been like a journey to me in terms of um getting used to and getting familiar with different fragrances and some of the base fragrances that usually use in um perfumes um but um the petrol is supposed to smell like dark soil dark um somebody said <laughs> on fragrance net that petrol smells like um the basement of you know like a basement you know and like earth ground soil you know so there wasn't much of it i would say that like they were playing in the background um, but it, it was more of the the styrax and the benzoin that I got, and a slight hint of um, spiciness, you know. Now, those are the notes, you know, and those are the the smells that you get playing together. So you wouldn't get um a lot of. It's not very hot, like burning hot, you know. This is very unique and very different from um. Um, I would say spice bomb, cause spice bomb you get a lot of the spiciness and a lot of um the um cinnamon you know and the lot of spices i play but this is not very spicy but also it's not very spicy based on me and i believe that fragrance is um more of an individual thing a personal thing and um a lot of times because of my origin i'm originally from from um from africa you know, i'm from ghana and um personally i'm a sort of person that like very spicy stuff you know the sort of stuff i could eat <laughs> If I tell you right now, like you will want to run away because I eat like one time. I remember in Ghana, I'll tell this story real quick. 
you know, one of my cousins came over and we, he actually grinded, that was the, new, <laughs> that was the most special thing I've seen because he grinded garlic, pepper, onions, ginger, and all these three bad boys together. And basically we ate it with, um, uh, what, with corn, it's not, it's called kinky, it's kind of corn flour mixed with, um, make it like in the form of a ball and then eat it with, um, the spicy stuff. Now, generally we eat the corn ball with pepper and, um, and onions and salt and tomatoes because the tomato, the tomato cut into the pepper and make it more, um, not so hot or not so spicy but this time was like the ultimate and i remember we're dying we're like literally crying <laughs> we're literally crying and it's like we have to drink a lot of water and it took like a while to get that you know it was like the ultimate challenge i mean i never did it again i mean i don't know if i'll able to do it now having lived here for you know in the united states for a long time and not eating a lot of spicy stuff you know i don't know but that was like the ultimate so talking about spice you know i am like a spicy freak you know like i could eat so much spice like when i go out with my friends um you know my american friends or you know people when i go out with my friends out here like you know and we eat spice generally i get to be more comfortable with spice and then something that is not more spicy like they would think is burning them out you know so it's generally up to you, you know, when you talk about spice, don't be derailed by the hotness, you know, don't think it's going to be very spicy and very overwhelming. Um, most of that, most of, most of the time, something that you could do with, you know. Um, but this hot um, water, but David up, is nothing spicy at all, you know, and that's why most people were, like, discouraged and, uh, and um, David uh, wasn't, you know, I'll say they are, um, what they expected were not satisfied, you know, because they thought it was going to be very, very spicy. But this is not spicy at all, you know. And so, and so, so most people give it a, a low ratings and um, like a thumbs, <laughs> not a thumbs down for it, you know. And they're like, oh, like this was such a, a flop, and that it was like they had a good idea with um, the hot water, but then they they flopped it out because they did not um, the spice did not really come out, you know. But again. I, I get some spice in here, you know, it's like a hint of spice, again, for my background, you know. And so, if you're somebody that's not used to spice, um, you would, um, you probably get a lot of spice, a lot of hotness in it, you know. Some people think it's, um, like a hot water, hot, you know, I don't know how hot water is supposed to smell, but maybe gives them the, the, um, makes them feel like hot water, not in a hot water, you know, experience. So that's with the spiciness. So with the projection, I would say this thing projects like a beast. You know, this thing is, will be very great for winter time, colder times, you know, right now we are in spring. So that time I went out and it was so freaking cold. Like, what is this? Freaking, <laughs> it's freaking springtime, you know, and it's like so cold still. And then, you know, I realized that it's still a good time to use this bad boy, you know, because it projects very good. And I remember when I started in my journey into the fragrance, um, into the into fragrances, I will use this a lot. And um, and so I got used to using it a lot, you know, and then I stopped using this for a while and I used other fragrances, you know, and I, test, I was testing them, you know, using them. And then I came back to using this about two, two weeks ago because I knew I was gonna review it. And um, I applied like I applied one because I usually will apply over here, over here, on my neck, behind my ears, sometimes my chest. That's like a little bit too much, right? But I don't know. But I I, I used to do that at the time, and I was fine with it. I mean, I smell it and go out and go to work. But then last two. Like when I just used it again, I applied one, two, three, and it was like overwhelming. Like it was like a blast in my face in the car. You know, I was like, oh my goodness, <laughs> oh my goodness, I applied too much. You know, and you you, you generally have a friend's sense of you apply too much when it's like in sort of in your head. <laughs> you know, it's like in your face and very strong around you. You know, 
So, you know, for a while I went away, but then I realized that, oh, like, I might have been used to applying too much. And um, also the weather has changed, you know, so now it's getting more warmer. Because before it was in winter time, you know, so now it's like in spring. So, um, you know, the weather is getting warmer. So with this, you, you want to apply a little bit, you know, just apply a little bit and see what, what it is like. If you are in a colder place and a colder environment, you could definitely, you know, rock this out big time, you know, you know all over the place and it's a very nice smell you know so with the projection this thing projects like a beast you know and um i would say springtime maybe use three applications uh winter time you could use maybe four or five um summertime definitely two maybe two at most will be will be fine you know but then you know two at most will be fine and then um you know everything will be fine uh with longevity this thing also lasts very well you know for a long time you know I remember yesterday I had to wear it the whole day on my wrist um, and that thing like lasted you know like lasted the whole I think I was testing every two hours I was smell it and it was still there you know it was kind of linear too it wasn't it didn't change so much you know it didn't have much of a personality but you could still feel you know smell the the play of the um, the notes you know sort of in a linear sense you know meaning you know, you could sort the smell the benzoin and the styrax and the red basil, you know, and it was kind of like very linear in terms of how it, it was smelling, you know, but it was very nice, you know, and um, it will last you a long time. Generally, perfume oils, you know, like I always say, it's like among the, the family of mediums, uh, perfume oil lasts the longest, you know, because if it's oil, you know, and oil lasts more on your skin in general. And um, if you get this bad boy, you could, you know, could rock it the whole day. It's a very unique smell um, among the um, the fragrances that I have personally, um, and among the ones that I've tried, you know, it's very unique. I would say Spice Bomb was very unique to me when I tried it. This was also very unique, you know. Um, the rest of the colognes I've tried, you know, uh, also very interesting in their own way, but this is very very unique. You know, it's um, it's unique. You you definitely stand out. Um, people want to know what it is that you're wearing. Um, people will be intrigued by it because it's not something that people are usually used to because of how it's presented. You know, so that's very unique. Uh, with versatility, I would say um, you know, it's it's very versatile and um. I would say women could pull away. Anyway, but I mean, fragrances is up to you. You could wear whatever you want to wear. You know, you could wear whatever. I mean, it's it's not male or female. It's like whatever, whatever you want to wear. It's very personal. You know, don't care about. I don't care about what you know what it is. <laughs> you know, if I choose to wear pink sugar tomorrow, I I mean I'll wear it. Like, you know, I don't care. But this is also I promote it towards uh, females. If you're a female watching this. Uh, if you're a guy watching and you want to get this for your you know girlfriend you want to get it for your wife your your daughter sister whatever you could get it men you know this is a beast for men too like it's definitely a beast you know um it's very unique it's very engaging you know it's very um versatile and it's definitely a bank you know a bank for your money or want to have in your collection you know so that's been my review for the how water david of type you know and um i would say definitely go to sendhack.com it's right below here or if not it will be in the comment section it will be right below the video <laughs> i definitely run and grab you a bottle of the how water um david of type from sendhack.com um make sure you like this video comment but make sure you subscribe <laughs> definitely subscribe you know um because i'm thinking of giving away um free bottles of um you know of perfume oils after reviews so if you subscribe and you leave a comment below um you have to be in the united states i'm yet to find out about outside the united states in terms of shipping and stuff like that you know this people are weird <laughs> you know it's shipping outside the united states and stuff like that but i'll look into that but definitely do that and um i'll send you a copy and i'll send you a bottle of um you know 
the perfume oil type you know or i'll send you something <laughs> you know when i'm working on it um but definitely subscribe because that's the only way you get all my videos um as well if you're watching this on my other channel my main channel samuel armor also know that i have so created a separate channel just for uh my perfume oils you know um it's called scent hack you know scent hack so you could leave out if you're interested in just the perfume oils the fragrances and scented oils and stuff like that you could just go to the scent hack um channel it's, it's just scent hack on youtube go and subscribe and then you just you know get a blast and awesomeness and all this stuff and you know the journey and everything fragrance oil perfume oil and stuff like that will be on that channel um you know if you're on this channel i just want to stay on this channel just you know do this channel and i'm just excited you know and also hit me up if you want to hit me up just to talk over random stuff you know new fragrances and stuff you're trying you know just general talk whatever it is leave a comment in the comment section below i'm always available to teach chat and do whatever you know <laughs> you know to make sure that you know i have a good connection and also have a good time on this channel um you know also going forward you know so i'm very excited you know <laughs> i can't wait to go out you know i'll be making videos outdoors as well you know with awesome locations that i'm i'm looking into i'm so excited you know so and um make sure you take care go get a couple of this battle and um until next time